Let's talk about render pipelines in Unity. So if you've been working with Unity for a bit, you've probably come across the term render pipeline, but what actually is a render pipeline and what does that have to do with you and your game? All games have to have a render pipeline and even if you don't know which one you are using, your game definitely has a render pipeline. The nuance is really important to know because these can affect graphics quality and performance and you don't want to get to the end of your game and realize that you can't launch to certain consoles. While it can sound really intimidating, I promise it's not that bad and by the end of the video you're going to know what they are and which ones you should be using. Unity uses render pipelines to determine how to display the information from your game scene and display it on your screen. Essentially, how do we get from here to here? Unity does come with a default render pipeline, but it's not a one size fits all approach. And not all render pipelines fit every type of game. If you're creating a gorgeous, intricate 3D game that you only plan to launch to higher end consoles, you probably don't care about optimizing for mobile performance. On the other hand, if you're making a cartoony, super casual game that you only plan to launch for mobile or Switch, you probably don't care about having to render super high quality graphics. For years, Unity only had one render pipeline, which is the built-in render pipeline, that tried to fit the one-size-fits-all approach, and Unity actually wouldn't allow developers to create their own pipelines. So developers kind of had the obvious question of, well, what do I do if I want something more custom? Well, that is exactly what Unity has done in the past few years. And now Unity has three main render pipelines, the built-in render pipeline, the high definition render pipeline, and the universal render pipeline. Think of HDRP and URP as sort of presets that Unity has built for you because if you are so inclined, you can actually create your own render pipeline. But let's get into what these are actually built for. The built-in render pipeline. If you're starting a brand new 2D or 3D project, you are probably going to be using the built-in render pipeline, whether you realize it or not. The built-in render pipeline has been the default for many, many years and is still a perfectly valid solution for making your games. When in doubt, it is a good place to start since it does have optimizations for both PC and mobile. The only caveat here is that it's not particularly great at either. Keep in mind that up until a few years ago, this was the only solution, so it had to cover a wide variety of scenarios. The built-in pipeline is kind of like those stretchy dresses that claim to fit everyone. Yes, they fit everyone, but are they really doing anyone any favors? That being said, Many developers still choose to use the built-in render pipeline over other methods because they're already familiar with it, there's tons of support on it, and as we say in the South, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But with that being the only option, many developers started to complain because they couldn't customize the render pipeline to fit their own needs. Because why even bother with mobile and Switch if you plan to just launch to PC and higher-end consoles? Enter the high-definition render pipeline, otherwise known as HDRP which is designed specifically for developers who do want to create those beautiful 3D, intricate, gorgeous worlds. So Unity releases a bunch of enhancements having to do with lighting, shadows, atmosphere, and cinematic post-processing effects. Now these things are very GPU intensive, but with mobile and Switch being out of the picture, um, developers don't have to worry about being held back by the lower end consoles. Shut your ears, don't. So Unity creates this and game developers are still not happy because now PC developers have this bright, shiny new pipeline, but what about mobile and Switch developers? What if I want great graphics and the ability to launch to any platform that I want to? So Unity goes, okay, we can make that happen. Enter the Universal Render Pipeline or URP. If you want the best of both worlds, that is graphics and performance, that's where URP comes in. While it might not have all of the graphical rendering capabilities that HDRP has, it's still really good. Especially if you want the ability to be able to publish to any platform. 
URP also has access to some of the new features that Unity has created, such as better post-processing effects and a built-in shader graph. The main takeaway here is that the universal render pipeline is really what the built-in render pipeline was supposed to be. And Unity fully intends to phase out the built-in render pipeline in favor of the universal render pipeline. Now, all of this sounds great, but before you go and switch all of your projects, you might want to keep this in mind. Even though HDRP and URP have been out for several years at this point, a lot of game developers still haven't really made the switch because of a couple of reasons. The first being that support is limited. When you go on YouTube or you watch other development tutorials, a lot of them strictly focus on the built-in render pipeline and don't even talk about the universal render pipeline or the high definition render pipeline. So there's still a lot of support for built-in, whereas there's just not as much yet for the newer pipelines. Perhaps one of the biggest reasons is that assets on the asset store just haven't had a chance to catch up yet. If you want to use an asset from the Unity Asset Store, nearly all of these are going to support the built-in render pipeline, but even large development studios are having trouble switching over all of their assets from the built-in render pipeline to the other pipelines. Knowing that information, it might be a little challenging to make the game that you want to make. However, I do want to make the distinction that HDRP and URP are the superior, better built pipelines. Now, I know that's a lot of information, but let's just keep it simple. If at all possible, use the Universal Render Pipeline or the High Definition Render Pipeline. If you're only planning to launch to PC or higher end consoles and you want to prioritize having high quality graphics, go with HDRP. For everything else, go with URP. Now, that's just a good rule of thumb to have, but sometimes it's not always feasible, and if you're still feeling unsure, it is still perfectly okay to use the built-in render pipeline. Now that's it for today, folks. Uh, let me know which render pipeline you're going to be using in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.